Hey guys, it's BaileyWiki, and this is going to be a short tutorial today, but a really important one. Uh, we're going to talk about levels. You guys have seen levels uh, over the years. Uh, it's developed by Ripper, which is one of our favorite community developers, third-party module developers for Foundry. Levels is a free module in wall height and better roofs, which go with it to make it all work. They're all free. You're looking at it here, right? You're looking at a multi-level mansion. Well, there's been some improvements to levels that you need to know about. If you use it or if you haven't in the past because of a very specific limitation, you need to check out this, this video. Jump around to the timestamps to what you care about. But the main thing we're going to talk about is the new Fog of War. It's in beta right now but it's a multi-level fog of war that actually works the way fog of war works in normal foundry but it works for each level that you create so i'm going to show you we're going to build the scene and i'm going to show you exactly how this works today and i'm super excited about it so with that let's get into it before we start if you're new to the channel i'm bailey wiki and between me and my staff we help everyday dms make truly memorable experiences for their players using combinations of art and technology. We also create the assets and maps uh, that you need to do that, as you can see here, and as you can see in all of our Foundry and Dungeon Draft tutorials. So if you like our content, want to support the channel, consider liking and subscribing and commenting, or go one step further and get all this great content for a single month of a Patreon subscription. You can start and stop your subscription wherever you like, and you need to keep everything as you go. So with that, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so let's start by creating a new scene. We're going to use the new scene browser here, and we'll do a uh, look up this grassy template here. And let's call this Mansion Demo Old Fog of War. Let's drop in an asset, and we'll drop in this villa. There you go. We'll drop our test player in. So let's see how the regular fog of war works. Okay, let's enter our building. And you can see so far, pretty good. We're only seeing within this room here. Uh, notice everything else is dark. Let's go upstairs. And we'll explore the upstairs here a little bit. And we'll go in here. Okay. And if our party is doing this, they might be exploring this. They might be in the ballroom. Let's go back down to the first level. You can see the problem is it exposes everything that we haven't yet explored. So this is the problem with Fog of War with levels is because the Fog of War, uh, it doesn't work with levels. Fog of War is only one giant infinite area around your player that goes infinitely up and down. And so when you have a room that you haven't explored, and it's you know like a tile here, it will expose those unexplored areas. So that's been a major problem with levels since the beginning is fog of war exploration. Okay, so now let's duplicate this. We'll call this new fog of war. And one thing we want to make sure we're doing here, go to settings, levels, and we want to untick advanced fog of war. Now, when we open our levels UI, let's go ahead and get the levels from the scene. We'll have those automatically generate. There we go. Perfect. Now what we want to do, we'll just reset the fog of war in general. And then what we're going to do is use the special setup multi-level fog beta. Okay, so now that we've clicked that, what happened? Well, what it did was it introduced these clones of the scene. These clones are the same exact scene uh, with nothing in it, just the background tile. Um, and what they're doing is they're just containing fog of war data for the different levels that are in that scene. So let's explore the scene now. There's our player. No, we haven't explored that, that scene yet or this area. So we'll go upstairs. We'll go into the dining room or the, the banquet hall. Let's go back downstairs and you can see it's still not explored. That is what has been accomplished by Ripper with this fog of war design. Yeah, it might seem weird to have all these copies, but honestly, to overcome that one issue, 
it's pretty nice and it puts them all in this nice convenient folder right where they're out of your way and you can just delete them all at the same time if you ever need to reset the fog of war you can go into these and you can reset the fog of war like you would uh, anything else just for that single level So that's what's a really big idea with levels. Now, the other thing that's changed that you should probably want to know about is uh, it used to be that anything that you put any tiles, for example, or walls or any other entity had to have a top and bottom as defined by your levels top and bottom, right? And then they would show up in the UI if you were on that level. Well, now you don't have to worry about the tops of them. Really anything whose bottom fits within this, this level here will be visible at that level, even if it goes infinitely up. So we're going to first release everything from this prefab. And now let's set this tile. This is just a tile of these dead bodies. Let's set it to five and infinite. And you can see it shows up still within this range, even though it has an infinite top, right? So we could even set this to 30 feet, like the top of a tree canopy, for example. And it's still going to show up. As long as its bottom is within this range, it'll show up. That's just going to be very helpful. Uh, it's less complicated to see things. And another thing is it won't make things disappear. So you could have walls, for example, that are 30 feet high, but you've got them on a level where you're currently only defining zero to nine, well, those would disappear. They wouldn't have a level to fit in until now. Now they can. So you only really have to worry about the bottom range or the bottom level of any particular entity. And the last thing worth mentioning, you notice that these staircases that I've got in this prefab are set to drawings. Well, levels is now defaulted. They still support drawings that you've already made, but it's now defaulted to where regions uh, is the default uh, style for stairs, right? So this used to be a, a drawing button, now it's regions. And all that means is you go to the region, uh, say we wanted to make a stair, um, I don't know, right here. Uh, you just go to the region tool, right? Go to your drawing tool and just start drawing a particular region that you want to be a stair. It'll automatically make it a stair assuming that you have this toggled on, right? You can always turn this off if you, if you don't want it to have that behavior. And then you just update your region. And now you can draw more stairs if they're on the same level using the same tool, right? So these are all part of like the same region. Uh, if you want to draw a new region on a level up above, you can do that. Just go up to the level above. And let's say we wanted to draw a region there. Well, we don't want to select this. We actually want to deselect it so it doesn't have the orange bar around it anymore. And now we can draw our new region. And you can see that defines it at this level. So now whenever we want to draw another stair that goes from 10 to 20, we can do that uh, uh, once we have this selected, right? Now it'll create a new region. This will just create the same region. And just to test out our stairs, there it popped us up. Right? If we had an artwork for a stair there, it would make perfect sense. And now we've popped up to 20 feet. So that's it. Those are the major changes with levels, but this definitely makes levels ready to do anything, to really have any kind of battle. Uh, so the sky's the limit as far as how you design your scenes to be able to work with levels. But I hope you guys learned something from this. And I'm really looking forward to using levels with V13. Uh, I was talking to Ripper. There's not really any uh, any other major changes that are going to happen. So I'm really excited to build some more levels-based maps, some really complicated ones now that you've got Fog of War working. That's it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what you think of Ripper, if he's doing a great job. I what, He's one of my favorite developers in the Foundry community. And uh, and then let me know if you have other recommendations for levels to make it more intuitive, easier to use, more robust, whatever the things are, but it's been in development a long time and I just love it. And the recent changes just help simplify things that much more. So with that, thanks everybody. And we'll see you next time.